So today I'm late. <laughs> Instead of 8 a.m., I'm here at 7 p.m. starting my hike. I just had too much stuff to do today. So one thing I noticed right away is the parkway is a lot more busy at this time of the day. There's been uh, probably at least half a dozen cars driving by here just in the time that I got ready to go out on the trail. And we're seeing the dogwoods blooming. So over there, get some white flowers on the trees. So yeah, this is dogwood time. And right here at the trailhead, we still have a bloodroot and bloom. A lot of these should be done. They were actually done last week, mostly. And this is Jack in the Pulpit time. Wow, that's a nice pear right there. This is Trillium time. Lots of white Trillium down there. More trillium. And another nice jack here. Lots of those bellflowers in this area here. They're all the way up there. And here we've got the first red trillium, right there. Lots of trillium today. The golden ragwort has really popped up too. The trees are really starting to leaf out now. Everything's getting a touch of green. We've got a tulip tree right there. The meadow roots are blooming. That's a male. Those are staminate flowers. They make the pollen. And that's the female. Those will receive the pollen and then develop seed pods later in the year. Now here we've got something interesting coming up. I'm wondering if that might be showy orchis. Lots of May apples with buds. No flowers yet. And that looks like maybe a lily coming up there. Yeah, look at these. Lots of May apples. This area also seems to have quite a bit of cohosh coming up. Now these dual wheat seedlings have decided that inside a dead tree trunk is the best place to grow. Another field of May apples here and lots and lots of lilies mixed in. We 
still got some cut leaf toothwort in bloom. Now here we see a plant coming up that a lot of people ask me about. That is Appalachian bunch flower. They are somewhat easy to confuse with rams maybe to the point that some people actually have eaten them and they're poisonous. You shouldn't do that. So we still have a little bit of evening sun hitting the hills over there. But yeah, this ridge gets the morning sun, so it's completely in the shade right now. The sun is out there in the valley. And yeah, you can see the trees have really started leafing out. A lot more green down there. The violets are still everywhere. The blue ones as well as the yellow ones. These hillsides are just covered with them. So instead of the morning sun, we've got the evening sun shimmering through the trees here. Here's that patch of robin's plantain. They have really started opening up too. Getting closer to sunset now. So we had a bit of a storm last weekend and apparently Mother Nature has decided to block the northern entrance of the trail with a fallen tree. So if you head out from Osborne Mountain Overlook, be prepared to climb the tree trunk. We're almost at sunset now, so I guess I better turn around. <laughs> I still have an hour to hike back to the car. Yeah, the sun is down, a couple of pink clouds still in the sky. I like these evening hikes, but you have to be careful with footing. I always have a flashlight with me. It's great for those pictures where you need a little bit of extra light. And also for these late evening hikes. <laughs> it's getting somewhat dark here in the woods, so I doubt I get a whole lot more pictures taken today. But you can still see those white trilliums. Look at how they glow in the dark. So apparently I'm not the only one out here. There's deer around. So yeah, I've been talking to myself on the trail, just to let them know I'm here. So I made it back to the car, safe and sound. <laughs> Actually quite enjoyed my evening hike. After it got dark, there were a couple moths flying around. And I can hear spring peepers calling right here at the Parkway Bridge. <laughs> 